What's up? All right, so I was just just coming from the store and I was talking to the, the lady. Lady's got bloating and constipation. She's um, having a lot of issues since she went to the doctor, got her blood work done. It's not her liver. She didn't know what was going on. And after asking a few questions, we found out that she had had her gallbladder taken out. Y'all, your gallbladder is <laughs> rather important overall. The reason being is your gallbladder is the spigot that releases bile into your colon. Now they take this thing out and um, they just throw it away, right? And what you have to understand is the liver creates bile. This bile is released by the spigot, like is on your water hose, right? It turns on and releases every time you eat. It releases this bile to alkalize your food so that it can be absorbed through the colon without creating acidity in the bloodstream that you're, if, when you do without that, acids go into the bloodstream, your body pulls out your calcium, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, boron, MSM out of your bones and out of your joints, giving you osteoporosis, osteoarthritis. So eventually you can't absorb things through the colon because you're defending against this. Here's what you need to know. If you've had your gallbladder taken out for about a year afterwards, you're good. I mean, like everything works fine because the liver keeps producing bile, keeps producing bile. And then in about a year, it stops. It goes, I just can't. I'm overworked. I'm overburdened because it doesn't do it just when you're eating food. It does it all the time. That's when you have to have an enzyme a digestive enzyme with ox bile in it. Thurston compound is one of super enzymes by, um, uh, now is another one. But get a digestive enzyme with ox bile so that every time you eat, you take a couple of these. That will make the food where it can absorb and be broken down properly again and all the bloating, all the constipation, all the crap goes away every freaking time if you have digestive issues if you have bloating if you have a uh, constipation or you run to the bathroom every time you eat and you've had your gallbladder taken out you have to have ox bile now caveat if you take a digestive enzyme with ox bile and you have a gallbladder you will become addicted to it your body doesn't produce that which it already has and it will forget how to or it will be a long process restoring its ability to produce anything if you take if you're getting it through your diet here's what you do bloating constipation running to the bathroom every time you eat and just not digesting things right without a gallbladder take a digestive enzyme with ox bile if you have that and you have a gallbladder it means your gallbladder might be malfunctioning you can take 30 days and take a digestive enzyme with ox bile give your gallbladder time to rebuild and give it the break it needs to reconstruct. Make sure you get plenty of sleep and um, then it can repair itself. It's important that you keep your colon cleaned out with like some regular, which keeps you regular. It's all the different fibers needed to break down all the crap in your colon. And then if you have um, constipation frequently, it's a moving experience. It's called moving experience for a reason. You will have a moving experience. So anybody that doesn't have a gallbladder, though, after about a year, you best get you some digestive enzymes with ox bile so that you can go to the bathroom properly or, honestly, just so you don't get bloated and constipated and have all these issues. So somebody out there needs that that's very important because the gallbladder is removed frequently and it has a purpose it's just like your appendix your appendix at the end of your colon is that little tail that they cut out and throw away that thing is to house your probiotics if you cut that thing out and throw it away your body cannot reproduce the probiotics when you have like food poisoning and everything goes through you so you need to take probiotics at least once a day to reestablish those probiotics 
because you don't have the appendix to house them anymore. Now, what do probiotics do? Probiotics actually create lactic acid in the colon. That lactic acid is going to kill out any pathogen before it can get into the bloodstream. So your immune system is severely damaged when the appendix is taken out. Now, if your appendix gets inflamed and you have problems, you need that thing taken out. That's when the wrong bacteria gets in there and it's housed and you can't get rid of it. So, I'm not saying don't get your appendix taken out. If it has to go, it has to go, but wait till it has to go, number one. Number two is if it's been taken out, you need probiotics. If your gallbladder's been taken out, you have to replace that. You have to have a digestive enzyme with ox bile. So remember those things. Probiotics, if you don't have an appendix, digestive enzyme with ox bile. If you don't have a gallbladder, if you do have a gallbladder and you're having problems, you can take a digestive enzyme without ox bile so you don't become dependent. So, and to keep your colon functioning properly and to keep you from having gallbladder problems or appendix issues, take regular, regularly. And if you're constipated, get some moving experience. Just a need to know for anybody and everybody that wants to keep the digestive process going and proper. Oh, you get all that at newsarms.com. N-E-W-S-A-R-M-S.com because that way you know it's right. And that's the only place you can get regular that I know of. So, love y'all. Peace.